Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 British customs that totally confuse everyone else. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at some UK traditions that may seem run-of-the-mill to us, but look a little bit odd to the rest of the world. Which weird UK tradition is your favourite? Let us know below. Number 10. Punch and Judy Once thought of as primarily a seaside entertainment, the Punch and Judy show can now be found at carnivals and family events across the country. The chaotic comedy puppet show began to gain popularity during the Renaissance period and remained a firm favourite with the British public well into the 20th century. Like the pantomime at Christmas, Punch and Judy tells a story using familiar stock characters and encourages audience participation. Mr Punch is the star of the show. The squeaky-voiced anti-hero traditionally wrestles crocodiles, beats his wife, Judy, murders interfering policemen and sometimes puts the baby through a sausage-making machine. But it's all wholesome family fun. His famous catchphrase is, that's the way to do it. Number 9. Marie Lude the British Isles still celebrate a wide range of historic cultural traditions which differ from coast to coast. In January alone, our citizens parade a straw bear through the streets of Cambridgeshire, read poetry over a haggis in Scotland and burn Viking galleons in the Shetland Isles. But one of the strangest customs that survives today is a midwinter folk tradition originating in Wales. The Mary Lude is a mischievous white horse, or rather, a horse's skull attached to a pole, controlled by a person hidden beneath a white cloth. Dressed with festive lights and streamers, she is paraded through the town at Yuletide, accompanied by wassailers. If she gains entry to your house, your household will be blessed with luck for the year. Number 8. Dressing up posh and going to the races Going to the races is not a tradition unique to the UK, but it's been around since Roman times and shows no signs of decreasing in popularity. As Britain's second largest spectator sport, horse racing is no longer the preserve of old men and aristocrats. Across the year, hundreds of us get our glad rags on for a grand day out at Cheltenham, Aintree or Ascot, but there are over 60 race courses across the UK, most dating back to the 1920s. There's nothing casual about race day. Formal attire is a requirement, that suits for the men and an opportunity for the girls to go all out. When else do you get the chance to wear a proper hat nowadays? Number 7. One for Sorrow Maybe it's the lingering influence of paganism, but the British can be a superstitious lot. The magpie thing, for instance, is getting entirely out of hand. Most people know the familiar rhyme, one for sorrow, two for joy, although you might not remember all the way up to 13. But now it's also widely acknowledged that one magpie seen by two will bring joy to the both of you. And if you don't have a friend at hand, don't despair, you can still cancel out all the bad luck by either saluting the bird or addressing it with the immortal words, Hello Mr Magpie, how's your wife and children? You might get some funny looks, but it's probably worth it to put your mind at rest. Number 6. Conkers In a simpler time, before all these newfangled gadgets, British children would spend many happy hours entertaining themselves with the seeds of the horse chestnut tree tied to bits of string. Ah, the good old days, eh? But Conkers, the traditional children's game, is actually still played in Britain. There's even a world championship. When the Conkers are ready, nice and big and easily cracked open, you can drill holes in them and thread them through with string. The aim of the game is to smash each other's conkers until they break. Using hardening methods such as baking, boiling or painting with nail varnish is considered cheating. Number 5. Dancing around the Maypole Maypole dancing is a spring tradition which still survives in many areas of Europe. In the UK, the practice dates back to before the 14th century. Nowadays, maypoles conjure associations with Merry England, Morris dancers and May Queens, but they actually have quite a chequered history and have been outlawed on more than one occasion. Most May Day celebrations involve a maypole dance, of which there are many variations. This is usually executed by pairs of boys and girls who weave around each other in opposite directions until their ribbons meet at the base of the maypole. It can all get quite complicated and usually requires plenty of practice sessions to get it right on the big day. Number 4. Christmas Crackers Have you ever watched a British film or TV special set at Christmas time and been baffled by those colourful paper crowns everyone wears around the dinner table? Then you're evidently not from the UK. So here's the lowdown. 
Christmas crackers are not just some made-up magical item from the pages of Harry Potter. They are bought in boxes and laid out by each place setting at Christmas dinner. At some point, you'll take a break from stuffing yourself with turkey and sprouts and pull a cracker with your nearest neighbour. The person left with the big end wins the contents. That's usually a joke, a toy or puzzle and the aforementioned paper hat, which you're obliged to wear, at least for a few minutes. Number 3. Morris Dancing Every country should have a traditional dance, if only to wheel out on national holidays and confuse tourists. Morris Dancing is a rural English folk dance that can be traced back to the time of Henry VIII, although it is thought to have originated even earlier. The dancers usually wear white or tattered jackets and attach bells to their shins. In small groups, they dance a series of rhythmic steps, usually to accordion music, over tobacco pipes set on the ground. They wave handkerchiefs and clap sticks and swords together. The dance style saw a big revival in the 1890s and then again in the 1950s and 60s. According to a 2020 survey, there are still around 14,000 Morris dancers in the UK. Number 2. Bonfire Night Remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason and plot. So goes the famous rhyme, which refers to a foiled attempt to blow a parliament back in 1605. Guy Fawkes was arrested while guarding explosives that were intended to assassinate the Protestant king, James I. We commemorate the event on Guy Fawkes Night, now more commonly known as Bonfire Night. The history of the holiday is steeped in anti-Catholic sentiment, but nowadays it's just an excuse to light bonfires, set off fireworks and celebrate the return of cold winter nights. We do still burn effigies though. It's not unusual to see local kids dragging around a stuffed approximation of Guy Fawkes dressed in their dad's old jumper and asking Penny for the guy. Number 1. Cheese Rolling We're not saying the British are eccentric, but in Gloucestershire, every spring bank holiday they hold a world famous contest which involves chasing a wheel of cheese down a hill. The Cooper's Hill Cheese Rolling and Wake is believed to have originated over 600 years ago. It hasn't changed much in essentials, but now contestants travel from all over the world to compete. The rules are simple. The wheel of double Gloucester cheese gets one second head start down the 200 yard hill and the chasers follow after it. It doesn't sound particularly high risk, but the ambulances are always on hand and get plenty of work to do. It's been described as the world's most dangerous foot race, but it looks like lots of fun. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.